In May 2023, I visited the Pinball Museum in Krakow. I played on some of the machines they have here. I am not an expert on pinball machines by any means, so this video will be a few of someone who enjoys playing them. When you enter this place, you are immediately overwhelmed by the lights and sounds produced by the pinball machines. Besides pinball machines, there are also numerous classic arcade games cabinets here. You can see my wife enjoying the game of Galaga. And next to this machine is the classic Donkey Kong. She also assisted me in recording this video. The first machine we played at the pinball museum was Belly's Wizard, a classic electromechanical pinball machine that was released in 1975. It is a beautifully designed machine with very nice mechanical sounds. Located in the same area is Bow and Arrow Pinball Machine from the same maker, which was also released in 1975. This machine features stunning artwork depicting Native American culture and traditions. The playfield is adorned with illustrations of tribal chiefs and other iconic symbols of Native American heritage. Amigo is another electromechanical pinball machine also manufactured by Bellis in 1974. Its theme is based on Mexican culture featuring colorful illustrations of mariachi musicians, cacti and other iconic symbols of Mexico on the playfield and back class. This room featured Cosmic Gunfight by Williams from 1982 Countdown, manufactured by D. Gottlieb & Co. in 1979, Sinbad, which was also made by Gottlieb in 1977, Bobby Orr's Power Play by Belly from 1977, and Belly's Nitro Ground Shaker from 1978. Let's play Medieval Madness, considered by many as the greatest pinball machine ever made. It was created by Williams in 1997. I spent a lot of time playing this game. This pinball machine is called Attack from Mars. It was made by Belly in 1995. It has become a true classic in the pinball world and is highly sought after by collectors. Its innovative gameplay, immersed theme and cutting-edge design have made it a timeless masterpiece in the world of pinball machines. And who doesn't remember this classic Adams Family pinball machine? It was manufactured by Williams in 1992. More pinball machines here, including Star Wars, which was manufactured by Data East in 1992. <laughs> This is a mechanical arcade machine called Twin Rifle and was made by Chicago Coin in 1971. The object of the game is to score points by shooting at various targets on the playfield using a rifle. More Star Wars pinballs. This is episode 1, made by Pinball 2000 in 1999. It features a cool looking hologram on top of the playfield that shows the scores and minigames. We 
This area had some more modern pinball machines, like this Guardians of the Galaxy from 2017, that is manufactured by Stern Pinball. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there are also arcade machines here. Outrun is a classic arcade racing game released by Sega in 1986. The driver controls a red Ferrari Testarossa convertible through picturesque courses. Outrun has had a significant impact on the racing game genre and is regarded as one of the most influential arcade games of all time. Another classic game is Mortal Kombat, which showcases the game's iconic characters such as Sub-Zero, Scorpion and Raiden. This wasn't just a game, it was an escape into a world of fantasy and martial arts, where anything was possible and victory was always within reach. More pinball machines in this room from the 90s, like WWF Royal Rumble made by Data East, Dinner and Whirlwind by Williams, Creature from the Black Lagoon by Belly, Dirty Harry and Demolition Man by Williams, and Fire from 1987. Let's play a bit of Dirty Harry. This machine is serious business. Demolition Man has these nice chrome handles that control the flippers. Fire pinball machine. Just look at the playfield, it actually glows with action. Fires break out and you have to take them out by completing the appropriate bank or making the lead shot. There are many more arcade games and pinball machines at the Krakow Pinball Museum. I will finish it here, 
but if you are in the neighborhood of Krakow, I highly encourage you to visit this place. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you would like to help me out with this YouTube channel, then please like my video and subscribe. Until next time, happy retro gaming!